Disney dining plan, quick service. I am on one. I'm gonna show you every single menu, every single snack item. Tough to find information out there, so I'm doing it myself. Um, I'm on the dining plan, two children, one adult, for one night. This is the second part of my journey. I already did a dining plan on my other part of the trip. So let's go and see what we can I paid just over $104 for uh, a bunch of quick service meals for me and the kids, snacks, refillable mugs. The, uh, I did a split stay and the Magic Vans are working flawlessly. Um, even though we switched hotels and we switched from a dining plan to a no dining plan to now a dining plan. Um, but you gotta use, if you're doing back-to-back -back dining plans um, on separate reservations, you gotta use all the credits of everything on the first dining plan. And then the second one, you can activate. That's how it works. All right, let's see where we go first. I wanna get this one out of the way. Um, and I'm gonna show you how mobile order works, how to change from adult credit to kids credit, if, if it qualifies. Uh, but uh, there was one that I was thinking of going to, which is uh, this Dockside, Daisy's Dockside Diner. And the reason is they have a pretzel bun uh, dog, hot dog or bratwurst or something. It comes with tots. There's no uh, kids menu here. So, I mean, yeah, so, so kids credit will work for a full adult meal. And they have this Princess of Alderaan shake that you would be able to get, or I thought so, with your meal, because the shake should be acceptable, right? Well, no neither with the adult credit or with the kids credit. You cannot get that Princess of Alderaan shake with your uh, meal credit. Uh, it's listed under desserts um, on the app. So it's gonna, ch it charges you for it. Um, let's see the menu here in person. There's the menu. Yeah, no kids, no kids items. But here are the specialty. Stuff. There's that shake that I wanted. It didn't qualify. Uh, it did not qualify as a drink on the dining plan, so I'm gonna skip it. Love the vibes here. By the way, I got this reflective umbrella that reflects the sun, and it really does work. It does feel much cooler under this than a regular umbrella. So. I think I got it from Amazon for like maybe 10, 15 bucks. Totally worth it. Just a quick uh, thing to think about. We got a popcorn stand over here by the Chinese theater. There's the menu. Snack credit, not on the bucket, but on a regular popcorn and drinks. Including that bag. People say Docking Bay 7 is the best value at a Hollywood studio. And I agree for adult meal, but for kids meal, Toronto Roasters is the best value. And uh, that's what we're gonna go do. Here's the menu. So breakfast till 11, and then this till three. They're only open till three. After three, you're out of luck. Uh, they don't have the vegan one, the vegan wrap at uh, Docking Bay 7, but they will bring the other one after 3 o'clock to Docking Bay 7. However, you cannot use the kids' credit there for the wrap. You can only use it here as a kids' credit for the wrap.
here it is. The uh, it's called the Zuki wrap here. I'm a Disneyland local, and I get the Ronto list wrap. It's so good, the vegan wrap over there in Disneyland. But uh, this is different. This is a zucchini inside instead of a vegan uh, like uh, Impossible Meat. Uh, so we're gonna test it out. I got I got all this Tattoo and Sunset, one of the best drinks, probably the best drink in all of Galaxy's Edge. Uh, I got some extra peppercorn sauce to try that. So all this with uh, one child's quick service meal. So let's see what this tastes like. This Tatooine Sunset is so good. And the key is it's not crazy sweet because they use unsweetened uh, tea, uh, iced tea with melon and berry and um, the sweet uh, lemonade, like the regular lemonade. So that's sweet, but they don't also do sweet uh, iced tea, so it balances it out. This is so good. <clears throat> this is no good. The bread is not hot or warm. This tastes very salty. It is spicy, which I don't mind. It tastes very salty. And it just tastes like a bunch of veggies that's spicy and uh, like vinegary and salty. That's all this tastes like. The Disneyland one is far and beyond. That's the one. I, I don't think I could eat any, any more of this. The peppercorn sauce is good. It's a lemony, it tastes like a lemony ranch, but smooth. Very good. But yeah, I, I can't, I can't take any more. Ice cold, ice cold, right at the entrance. What do we got here? Potato yeah. chips and stuff. Dude, you got your phone. Mickey Mouse brown green. We got this popcorn cart too. Same stuff. Spider Man accepted. All right, we got this market snack booth. Let's see what we got. Bay 7. I have ordered and used uh, adult quick service meal here. Let's see how it is. Here's the menu in person. I got the Batuyan beef. I've never tried it. I always wanted to, but I never wanted to spend that money on a counter service meal for 20 bucks. And I got the Surly Sarlacc, even though I don't drink alcohol really. This is the time to try it. Let's see what it's all about. I've had the Moose juice before. And I thought it was whatever, so it's time to try some alcohol. Win and roll. Now this looks like a good time. Uh, Surly Sarlacc. Let's taste it. Let's see. Ooh, that is nice. As a non-alcoholic drinker, this alcoholic drink is fantastic. <laughs> I'm so glad I tried it. I taste like fruits, a lot of fruit, like peach. It is sweet. Um, the alcohol is very subtle. Yeah, I'm very happy with this decision. Okay, this thing, this thing looks amazing, smells amazing. Let's see the yucca fries. Fantastic. Seasoned well. Some herb. Oh my gosh, look at this monster. Oh, there's multiple pieces. Hopefully, this meat isn't. Ooh, the veggies have like a sweetness to them. Some Indian spices. Hold on a second. fries or the yuca whatever you call them see some juice down there 
this is not fall off the bone. I'm gonna need two hands for this one. Let's see it. Let's dip it in the juice. Aju. Mmm. It has a sweetness. It is not dry. It has some spiciness to it. Ooh, mushroom. Ooh, this is a fantastic flavor. Not dry at all. Wow. Let's go with some more yuca. This is basically like a beef stir fry with yuca fries in it as the potato. Sweetness to it. With some spice to it. I'm really digging this. Wow. That's fantastic. Now the question is, if I wasn't on the dining plan, would I pay 20 bucks for this dish? Oh, that's so good. Um, I'm gonna lean towards no, but this is kind of like borderline, like worth it. There's very few things I would pay counter service like $20, because you're getting the restaurant prices at that stage, you know? Like a Boathouse, the mahi sandwich is like 25 bucks and it's 25 bucks and it's unbelievable. But I'll tell you what, this is probably one of the best counter service meals I've had. If you're on the plan, 100% get this, 100%. Because it tastes fantastic. By the way, I brought some garlic ranch with me from uh, Deluxe Burger in Disney Springs. So the other night, their garlic ranch is so amazing. Let's go for a dip. Uh, it was so good, I had to take some to go. Mm, oh my gosh. This is it right here. This is it right. I might even be dip the beef in this. It's so garlicky, like fresh garlic. Oh man. Hold on, hold on. Thank you, dining plan, for enabling me to do this and get this. Mmm. I gotta go, I gotta go and just eat. Bye-bye. That was a great meal, but I'm gonna give you a tip. If you're not an alcoholic drinker, but you still won't mind trying alcohol, this is the best thing because you don't really taste the alcohol and it tastes better than all of the other non-alcoholic drinks. Don't get the Moof Juice or none of that, except for the Tatooine Sunset, which is only at Ronto's Roasters. But yeah, get this on the dining plan. Pretty sure you can't get anything at Baseline Tap House, but let's find out. Oh gosh, my lens is really dirty. It's an H thing. Bavarian. Uh, yeah, nothing, no counter service, no table service, no snacks, nothing at Baseline. I was really curious about the pretzel. First of all, the pretzel is much smaller than it used to be. All right, it's not a giant pretzel anymore. Uh, I also asked, because I haven't had the pretzel like, I've seen it before, but I never tasted it. And I said, is there special recipe to this? Is this different than, like, Germany and Epcot, the pretzel, or any of that? It's like, no, it's the same exact one, except it's not the same as the Mickey pretzels, which I know. So, I, I like my pretzel, like, fresh and fluffy, not hard at all, you know? And I've had the Germany pretzel, and I did not like it. It was just, like, a whatever pretzel, you know? It wasn't mushy wasn't like Aunt Annie's or Wetzel's pretzels like that. It was nothing like that, you know? Backlot Express. I think they're already closed or maybe nobody's ordered. Yeah, no, I don't know. Anyways, here's the menu. And here's a, assuming these are specialty items right now. The Jettison's Juice with the Glow Cube. You can get it on the mobile app. 
uh, as a snack credit. So, Wookie Cookie. Wookie Cookie is a snack credit. None of this has the logos, but they are snack credit eligible. Oasis Canteen. I think it's just all alcoholic drinks. Epic Eats is closed right now, but uh, since Epic Eats is closed, they still have the menu here. You can get it all, all the funnel cakes and everything. Catalina Eddie's. Yeah. Anaheim Produce. Sunshine Day Bar. It's all alpha. Yeah. Trolley Car Cafe, which is uh, the Starbucks here in uh, uh, Hollywood Studios. This is the same deal as all the other Starbucks in the parks. We got the sandwiches that are meals, even a kid's meal. And then you got the uh, desserts that are all snack credits. Yeah. yeah. Same deal, any size drink. Oh gosh. I'm gonna wipe this lens. And uh, yeah, everything is a snack credit except the sandwiches, which is a meal with a drink, any size drink. hankering for some Mickey shaped pretzels with cheese sauce so snack credit incoming first snack credit on this leg of the journey snack credit uh, 825 but if you get it without cheese if you're paying out of pocket it doesn't list it on there but it's a dollar less and I'll tell you this pretzel has gotten much smaller than before and I'm not liking that I'm not happy about it and we're gonna make our voice known by just eating it uh, don't get the Mickey pretzel, especially from this cart that's on Sunset Boulevard. It's old and hard. Let's see if there's any snacks in the main gift shop. Yep, the usual with all the other parts. All these qualify. Yeah, all these qualify. Six nine nine, including the lollipops. I don't think these do. They have it in the other parks either. This is the shop across the street. And they got these two things. Chocolate bar and mint. Popcorn. I don't see it on here. Shortbread rounds. Popcorns do qualify. The bags. Uh, and it looks like all of this stuff qualifies. Wait, so does that? Oh no, it doesn't. You see, 749. 
Well, that was Hollywood Studios. I didn't go into a couple of the quick service restaurants that are on mobile order um, today, but I've been to it and they're exactly the same they are on mobile order. The snacks and the quick service, they all take it. There was no specialty stuff that wasn't on mobile order. So hope this helped. Um, and uh, if I have anything else to say, I will add it here. I did confirm at Fairfax Fair they don't have a kid's menu, so they will take your child's credit for full adult meal, and it's pretty good value. Beef brisket bowl, they have different bowls, and uh, specialty drink will get you over $22 worth for your child's snack credit, or even for you. The only thing is, the reviews I heard is those bowls don't taste that good, so keep that in mind. Anyways, thank you for joining me. Next up will be Animal Kingdom. Bye-bye.